Now there are some things we need in our so stash, no matter who we are or, or you know, it's, they're essential, okay? And I found that out over the years. And one thing to have in your so stash is just an old, you know, an emery board, okay? Now, you know what happens when you're doing sewing and you're maybe stitching up a binding or you're doing something, you've got a fingernail that decides it's either gonna, you know, it's, it's uneven, it's rough or something like that if you've just got something going on. Well, you wanna be able to reach into your, your kit bag and find your emery board and sort that out so that it's not catching on your thread the whole time. Nothing worse than just getting sitting down and you're doing some hand stitching and then all of a sudden your fingernails catching on the thread. Okay? Emery boards. We've got a stack of them. All different. There's some with sewing things on. There's some with, um, these got flowers on them. They come in a little container like this, these ones. $1.95. Cheap as chips, right? Great for your handbag. Great for your sew bag. Um, in your toolkit for your sewing. Um, cheap as chips when they run when they don't do what they're supposed to do anymore chuck her out and get another one but there's lots of fun ones here we we get different ones all the time we've had some sewing ones we've had um, you know a whole heap of different uh, patterns and styles the ones at the moment we've got have got little flowers on them the great thing is these ones have got the little protective cover so they're not going to rub up against all of your scissors and all those kinds of things. So if you don't have one of these in your sewing stash, I'd suggest if you come into class or you've got a um, hand sewing stash somewhere at home where you normally sit and do your hand sewing and things like that, why not grab one of these and put it in there and then you'll always have it just when you know that you need it. And um, they're just great things to have around. Um, but there's nothing worse than when you're hand stitching and all of a sudden then you know you, your thread's catching on your nail or whatever so it's always good to have one of these around you don't have to go searching for them emery boards great for the sew stash something else i wanted to um, show you is a gadget which i think is a great tool for anyone who loves their embroidery you've got to have great scissors and great tools and this set from kimber bell is awesome now they have four different utility tools in here. Now there's, um, in each one, there's a four and a half inch duck bill scissor. There's a micro tip scissor with a really fine point, really, really, really super fine point. You can see them here. You have sharp snips and they've got a curved blade and they go, they're snippy right up till the end of the tips of the blade. And you have a really fine precision set of tweezers with a blade. Now, we all know that embroidery, when you're doing embroidery, and especially applique in the hoop, your scissors need to be sharp all the way to the end of that scissor point. So these scissors were put together by Kimber Bell. They've all got the Kimber Bell logo on them. Uh, and it comes in a great presentation tin that you can store them in nicely, look after them. They're an investment at $199. But if you do love your embroidery and you do love your Kimber Bell and you know how important good tools are, you just got to think that, you know, for any one of these, you could pay, you know, $50 per scissor. So for a good set. So this comes all together in a beautiful tin, nicely protected, keeps your scissors really nice and you'll have them for a very long time. So if a significant birthday is coming up or if you've got... Uh, gift cards you want to use or you just want to treat yourself then why don't you treat yourself to a great pair uh, a set of scissors like this to do your fun projects from Kimber Bell or any other uh, machine embroidery project and you'll notice the difference when you start using some great scissors like these so that's the Kimber Bell um, scissor set with the, with the cool tin um, $1.99 in stock now at River City Sewing So my gadget that I'm bringing you this time is a pin cushion. Not just any pin cushion, but it is an amazing pin cushion that was brought out to, to help with breast cancer research, as you can tell, okay? Now, these pin cushions are from Bohin. I think that's how you pronounce it, Bohin. They're French. So one euro from every the sale of every one of these went to um, 
breast cancer research. Okay, so not only are they um, great for the cause, and they're thirty nine ninety five. I'll say that right now, but you get a lot for your thirty nine ninety five. Now, having used these uh, a wristlet type um, pin cushion before, some of them you see are very long and thin. And what I found is when you put the pin in, if you're pinning away and you, you, you're popping it into the pin cushion, sometimes with the long thin ones, um, they're not protecting your arm. And sometimes you might have this little piece of plastic run underneath. This one covers the entire section underneath the bottom of the pin cushion. And it's quite tall so that, you know, with the length of the pin, even down here, you're not going to, um, it's not going to stick into your arm. Okay. So no more scratching of, you know, scratching your arm or things like that. You have a really substantial base and guard that this sits on. It's also the fabric on it is like a, you know, like that, um, they call it flock. Okay. It's like a non-slip, um, feels like sort of flannelette, but you know what I mean. So it's nice and comfortable to wear. It's not going to flip around or slip around because it's a slap band. It's going to conform to the shape of your arm. Um, and it's, it's just really comfortable. So if you never use one of these, it's quite fun because you can have it on when you're sewing away. It's not going to get in the way. Um, you can just pop your pins in instead of putting them in your mouth or in your shirt or wherever. Um, it's a good way to keep track of those. And, you know, sometimes you might have a pin cushion or a magnetic pin cushion near your machine, um, but you may be in an awkward situation. So having one of these on your arm can just pop it in and, you know, you save having to pick pins up from the floor and all those kinds of things. So these come in, these special edition ones come in two pinks, the dark pink and the light pink. I like the, I like the dark pink, which is nice. Um, so, but they're, they're gonna last you for a very long time, which is really good. So um, treat yourself to one of these. I think because they are uh, a lovely fit and they'll fit conform to any, you've got a thinner, <laughs> thin arm or a thick arm like I have, um, it'll fit you um, just nicely. So $39.95, treat yourself to a new, really good quality wrist style pin cushion. And um, you know, you'll know you notice the difference. You won't be able to sew without them once you've had one. So come and get one of these. And, and nice knowing that the, um, the proceeds, you know, one, one euro of this was going to um, breast cancer research. So it all comes around, right? So treat yourself to a new wrist, wrist pin cushion. So with the advent of us all being a bit more mindful of our plastic bags and not ha having them at the supermarket and being and cutting down the amount of bags we all use, um, we too are doing that here at the store. So um, we've cut out all of our plastic bags and we'll be cutting down the amount of bags we give out just to be a little bit more environmentally conscious. A lot of the bags we do give out are either recycled, recyclable or paper, but we're trending down on how many of those we're actually keeping at the store. So all of us generally have these um, reusable shopping bags in our handbags um, all the time or in the car or all those kinds of things. So I just wanted to highlight, we do have some here in the store and they're $11.95, so they're really not that expensive, but they come in a range of different colors. And you know, they do fold up nicely. They've got the little clip that you can hang them from inside of your, of your purse. And if you've made your own bags and you've got a little um, clip there, you'll be able to clip them in. Um, they just come in a range of colors. And, you know, it's, we all sort of need to be aware of, you know, the not using quite as many, um, you know, plastic bags and, you know, it's terrible. I go to the shopping, I go to the to, you know, supermarket and forget my bags all the time. But I've managed to keep a couple of these in my handbag now, um, just so that I've got them all the time. They just fit in. They don't take up too much room and they're great. And I've paid more than $11.95 for one of these bags when I've gone out. So these are great value. Got some great modern prints on them. So there's lots here at the store. Um, so next time you're in, why not pick up one of these? Eleven ninety five, cheapest chips. Put them in your handbag and keep it as when you're shopping here with us. You might have um, a little, a little pink one or a grey one. Um, 
when you're shopping here with us here at the store. So um, these are fold up bags, shopping bags from the Sack It To Me group. And uh, we find that they're a really nice quality. So why not pick one of these up next time you're in the store when you do your shopping with us here at River City Sewing. So many of you like to do hand stitching and doing your binding and doing lots of fun things with needles and thread. And I particularly, there's lots of different thimbles on the market and there are types that fit you well and there's types that don't fit you quite so well. So I've got a um, whole series that I'm gonna show you today from um, Colonial that are not traditional thimbles. And I use these all the time because, you know, sometimes when I've found over the years, I've got beautiful thimbles that fit me beautifully and other ones I just do not work for what I wanna do, especially for those of you who may have acrylics on, okay? Sometimes it's very hard when you have acrylic nails to um, find a thimble that will work for you. And we've got a couple of alternatives, but these are the ones I wanna show you today. Now, the thimble that I generally use looks like this. Okay, it's called the Ultimate thim Ultra Thimble, but it's designed just to stick on the end of your fingertip, okay? So as you can see, it's dimpled like a piece of steel and it's got these stickers. And the idea is in the back of the thimble, you put a sticker and it sticks on the end of your finger. The idea is that you don't have a, knee, a thimble covering your finger, it's just where it needs to be at that point. Now, I know many of you may be like me and if I'm sewing without a thimble, I'm putting binding on or I'm doing some kind of hand stitching, whether it's hexes or whatever, all of a sudden you'll find that you get a little hole in your, in your finger just here and you think, oh God, I should have got my thimble out. But sometimes the thimble catches the thread all the time. Now, I've, I searched for a long time to find something that would suit me 100%. And this is what I really love is that it's small. It can stay on my magnetic pin cushion. I've got replacement, um, replacement stickers that you can go on and you can buy them individually, like in, in packs of just as stickers. And it's not gonna get in the way of my, um, you know, it doesn't always catch the thread. It's not squashing my finger. If I do have acrylics on, which I haven't had for a while because of COVID, um, it doesn't interfere with that either. So having something that just fit, just sits on the end of your finger, uh, for me, is a great one. So this is ultra thimble. So it, it, the, the stickers actually last a long time. The only thing I wouldn't say, don't, sometimes you forget that the thimble is on and um, you might wash your hands or do those kinds of things and it obviously is gonna come off, right? But um, the sticker does last, it's like a double-sided tape and it lasts a really long time. Um, but it's much stickier than just say sticky tape or things like that. So you will get some extra life out of that. So this comes with um, eight little stickers and the thimble itself. So they're really a lot of fun, okay? They're 19.95, best investment you can make if you cannot find a thimble that works well for you. Now they come in a couple of different um, types. Now this one, if those of you hand quilt, always sort of need two thimbles, right? So they do have an, what they call the under thimble, which instead of the dimples, which I've sort of like the dimples, this one is smooth, does the same thing. Okay, so it's smooth. Um, it could be doing the same thing, but I just like the ones with the dimples, but that works really well to do the same thing, okay? So um, same thing, same principle. It's a piece of steel with no dimples and it's got the stickers, okay? So the main thing you've just got to remember is when you at apply these, so you stick it on the back of the thimble and stick it on your finger, just press it for about a minute so that everything sort of connects and, and holds and then you can start. That's how quickly it happens. So um, that's called under thimble. So you've got the original, which is the ultra thimble. Then you got the under. Now, if you're not quite sure, there's a package of, you've got a different type of thimble that's a bit like, it's sort of convex. 
um, sorry, concave. And then you've got this one here, which is sort of a mixture of both. It's got a little ring and then it's got the dimples inside. And you've also got the leather ones. So this one gives you a selection and it's got um, thimble crown, which is this one. The thimble dimple, which is this one. It's got leather. There's one that's just leather on its own. So it's just like a piece of leather. So if you find that you want a softer thimble, there's leather on its own. You've got little needle grip it. So if you think you need a little, um, find it hard to grip the needle, there's a little stick on one that sticks on your finger so that it helps you grip. Or you've got this one that you can actually grip it with this little guy and it sort of snaps around the needle, not snaps, but fits around the needle. So there are lots of different options for you for these types from Colonial. So um, look, yeah, there's, these, are, these are just great. So if you're not quite sure, you can get the multi-pack. The multi-pack is $26.95. So it may be a way to just sort of have a look and see which one suits you best. Um, you could get the, whoops, You could get the leather one and try it if you like. That's sixteen ninety five. Um, it's really soft, but it is leather with a sticky back on it. Okay, so that's something a little bit different. But I think as a starter, if you uh, were buying these all separate, it'll cost you a lot more. But at least gives you a little bit of an um, indication of whether you like this type, and it gives you the different styles. It gives you the leather. It gives you the metal. It gives you a few other ones. But um, if you're like me, I like, I really enjoyed this, um, this one, but even the under thimble would work the same. So these are fun, different types of thimbles available. Now, at the store, we sell also the, just the grip. Um, so it's just the little, um, little grip you can see in the picture just sticking on the back of your finger it helps you grab the needle so you're sort of not having to push too hard so those of you who have a lot of fatigue when you're hand stitching because you're trying to grip the needle really hard that what's that's what this guy does you can just see that there so lots of fun and interesting things that um, this has got 70 dots that you can use so um but yeah, lots of interesting tools that you can help with hand stitching and thimbles. So why don't come in and have a look. And like I said, if you did decide that you like some of those, we have the replacement dots um, available so that you don't have to buy the whole thing over again. Now my, um, my ultimate thimble, ultra thimble, I think I've had mine for probably about, I don't know, six or seven years, maybe longer. And I just get these to replace the little dots. And um, it's great. It sits on my magnetic pincushion, like I said, till I'm ready for it, and then away it goes, and you just get some extra dots, and you put it on, and away you go. So um, something different, right? So have a look at your thimbles. If, if this is something that might be helpful to you, then come and see us at River City. We'll be able to help you with choosing a new thimble. A lot of the brands have started to bring out or have started making their own branded accessories. We know that they all do their hoops and they all do their feet and they all do those kinds of things. But we've had some changes and Faf and Husqvarna have started bringing out their own needle ranges. Now previously, um, the parent company would, would brand these as Inspira. Now Inspira is uh, owned by the Inspira brand is owned um, by the same company that owns Faf and Husqvarna. So, but they've decided to bring out branded um, needles in, a, in different ranges um, under the Faf brand and under the Husqvarna brand. Now, the reason they do that is not everybody is both a Faf or Husqvarna dealer. Some may just have Husqvarna and some may just have Faf. So they've decided to bring them both out. Now we've just started getting some of these in, in the Faf and Husqvarna range. Now Benina already have their uh, branding on some of their needles. Uh, we also carry Schmitz, as you know, and we still have some of the Inspira brand here as well. So changing your needles is really important, especially in embroidery. Um, you know, 
it's so often we think about needles being expensive. They're not expensive when you compare the cost of embroidery thread stabilizers and backings and fabric, okay? So make sure that you've always got a good needle stash. And if you don't have a good needle stash, then you need to top it up. If I would always keep, if I'm starting a project, I would almost make sure that I have at least, at least 10 of the right size needles before I even start a project. You know, you've only got to break a couple or, you know, you going through things like embroidered quilts, for example, I could go through 30 needles in the space of doing a whole quilt. Now, especially when we're going through things like wadding and extra layers and extra layers of fabric. Um, so you've just got to be mindful to help the machine and give yourself a better finish and change your needle quite often. Um, these sets that I've got here are an assortment. So they have a 75 and a 90 um, in the same packaging. So three 75s, which is your regular or normal size and two 90s. So you're getting a bit of a selection um, in both packs. So if you haven't um, up checked your needle stash lately, maybe you should and come in and see us and we'll be able to um, supplement your needle collection from our range we have here at the store. So if there's anything that you've seen in the video that you would like to get a little bit closer to, why not um, give the team here a call at River City Sewing. They'll be more than happy to help you to find exactly what you're looking for.